In this video, we're going to cover how to review and approve all of your team match results. So I'm going to come here to my schedule page, make sure I click schedule so I see that I have my schedule up. And I want to look for these, first of all, these events that show pending right here. And I can pick one of these events. I'm going to go ahead and click the pending drop down. And I have the choice to accept it or trash it. Uh, if I accept it, it's going to show um, kind of bolded here so you know that that's an event that you wanted. If I wanted to trash it, I could do the same thing. I would click on that drop down, change it to trash, and then type trash. And you'll notice that it gets removed from my schedule. Now, it doesn't get deleted, and I can actually go and find it and even bring it back if I'd like. So it would be a good idea to check your trash uh, just to make sure there's nothing in there that you really want to see on your schedule. And I'll do that by clicking on this filter button. In the status, I will switch this to trashed and then click on search. And you'll notice here's that event um, that I saw in the trash. And what I can do is I can click on the restore, this little circular arrow. I can click here and it's going to bring this event back and show it on my schedule now. So you want to do this for each of the events on your schedule. And there's a couple different ways, I suppose, uh, to, to take a look at this. Uh, if I had a dual meet tournament, which, uh, for instance, would be one like this, um, I could uh, accept or trash the whole thing. But I do want to look within uh, these events as well. So this is a dual tournament. I'm going to click on that. Uh, it's actually not a good example. If I go to Nielsville duels, I think this is one I can see. Yeah, so here's the example of a duel that has not been um, accepted or trashed yet. And I would go ahead and maybe click there, click accept, and uh, that's going to bring that one as accepted. I'd also uh, want to do that with the entire event. If this is one that I went to, I'll click on pending, click accept. And that one's running a little slow, but you'll see that this uh, returns and now you'll see that that's um, good on my schedule. I'd also want to do the same uh, sort of process with individual events as well. So if I went to this Baron Wrestling invite and I clicked on this, you'll notice that there's a couple of pending matches here. You may have a bunch. You may just have a couple. Um, if I check mark, I could do these one at a time. But if I check mark them, I could also use this trash selected or accept selected. So I just want to give the example. I'm going to trash both of these matches first. So I'm going to cl click on trash. And that's going to place those in the trash. So I don't see those anymore, but I can search for those just like I searched on the events. If I click search, I go to this status, back to trashed. You'll notice here are those two matches. I can bring those back by placing a check mark next to those matches. And now I'm going to accept them. I'll type accept. And then now you'll see that on my matches page, I've accepted these two matches. So you'd want to go through and do this for every event on your schedule. And then the final step in this is that after you've reviewed the results for an event, you want to be sure that you have a green thumb icon next to it. So if you don't, you want to click on that icon to approve the results. So if I come here, you'll notice it's either going to be um, kind of this orange yellow one. This means that this was approved by somebody else, perhaps. Or if there's a red, it means it hasn't been approved at all. So what I'm going to do is click on one of these. I'm going to type commit. And you'll notice that now I get this green thumb icon. And this is going to lock those results so nobody can change them without first giving a reason why. And then if they did change it the next time you came into your schedule, you'd see that the green uh, thumb is no longer there and you know that something would have changed.